holding an animal like this that is not only, I mean, it's obviously super, super, you know, I mean, you gotta still be very careful because these guys are lightning quick. And again, the venom in them is so toxic. You never want to get hit by something like this. Hey, good morning everybody. It is just past 4 a.m. So it is super early. My flight leaves in about two and a half hours to Florida. I'm about a 45 minute drive away. I hope you guys are gonna have an amazing day and I hope that you're ready for adventures over the next five to seven days because it's gonna be pretty awesome. What do you say we hit the airport? At the airport, bright and early. It's pretty chilly out here. So <laughs> let's hope that uh, the ride is smooth. Whew. It's about a two and a half, almost three hour flight to Florida, so let's get on the road. Okay, hon, I love you. I'll see you later. All right. Okay. All right. Nice day. Okay, I'll call you and I'll do okay? Okay. All right, bye. All right, through security, I have about an hour before boarding, so it's always weird when you go to the airport, right? You gotta get there early, because if you don't get there early, you're gonna be late for your flight, but if you get there too early like I did today when there was no one in line, I'm sitting there for an hour waiting for my plane, but regardless, I'd rather be early than late, so uh, it's pretty empty in here today. It's been a long time since I've flown this early in the morning, but uh, I don't know that I've ever been to the airport when it's been so dead. I mean, there's no one here. It's kind of freaky in a way. <laughs> but hey, better than being so packed and being late for flight, because trust me, I've had a lot of those for sure. <laughs> you guys know every time I travel, I talk about the water bottle trick. You gotta bring one of these water bottles, go to a drinking station, fill it up. That way you don't have to buy water, you don't have to worry about it, and you always have ice cold water, which makes your trip better. Do it. There you have it, success. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Barsley. Thank you. Well, the terrible news is my baggage didn't get here, so I am literally not sure what I'm gonna do because I had everything I need sitting in that package. So I'm gonna go see if I can try to find someone to try to hopefully find this baggage. This is rough. Oh man, success! I found my bag. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that would have made this day really difficult. So uh, good job. So uh, let's go check out what Orlando has in order for us. All right, we are in Orlando, Florida. I love this place. I haven't been here since Playlist Live back in March or April of last year, so I am super excited to be back down here. Right now, we're just gonna kinda go bum around, maybe catch some food or hang out, do some touristy stuff. And then in a few hours, I'm gonna head over to my buddy, Robbie Kezzi. Used to have a show on Discovery called Swamp Brothers. We're gonna go play with some really cool stuff like venomous snakes and crocodiles and alligators and caiman and all kinds of cool stuff. So we have some cool stuff planned, but right now I'm just gonna go do the tourist thing for the next hour or two. There's no way that I'm coming to Orlando and not going to downtown Disney. Just gonna hit some lunch uh, before heading out to go play with some deadly animals. You can call me a big kid, I don't care, because I love Disney. I couldn't come here and not at least come to downtown Disney, so. Okay, now we're off to go play with animals. Take a look at this fence right here. How awesome is that? It's got a little crocodile on there. It's all vines. This is my buddy, Robbie. He used to have a show on Discovery Channel called Swamp Brothers. We're down here visiting his place. We're probably gonna spend a few hours here today looking at maybe some venomous snakes and stuff like that. And we're gonna probably come back tomorrow and do some more crocodile and alligator stuff because it's starting to rain, so we don't wanna be outside. But anyways, he's gonna be here in a second. We're gonna go in and we're gonna look at some cool animals. All right, guys, I am absolutely dying here. I've been following Robbie's 
little Cuban croc cyclone ever since it was hatched. And uh, I tell you, anyone that's into crocodilians knows that Cuban crocs are like the pinnacle of insanity when it comes to crocodiles. So cyclone here being so docile and so, I, this guy, I am freaking out right now. I mean, this is the most beautiful, gorgeous little thing I've ever seen. Come on, come on. Good boy. So we are in the venomous room right now, and I am technically holding a venomous snake, but it's not something that can harm a human whatsoever. And of course, this is an Asian vine snake, one of the most interesting snakes really around, in my opinion. I mean, take a look. Do you see how that tongue comes out? And then, look at it. See it? It'll just stay out and taste the air. It is so amazing. But these guys, again, are not harmful. They eat anoles and sometimes, you know, other lizards like that. That's the only downside to keeping these guys is that they very rarely will eat anything other than anoles or lizards. These are just such cool animals. But uh, trust me, I'm standing around stuff that is not so friendly to get bit by. Let me tell you what. So we'll take a look at a couple things. But we're going to come back tomorrow and really spend some time with Robbie when we can look at the croc and look at uh, all the outdoor stuff. I mean, you can see I'm a little bit wet right now. I've been outside just trudging around the swamp. So it was really fun. So we'll take a few things out today and then tomorrow once we get a little bit of rest because tell you what when you're messing with venomous snakes the last thing you want to do is be on two hours of sleep like I am right now. Really cool stuff here so it's gonna be really awesome. All right Robbie has given us a little venomous handling skills here. This is actually a main chain viper. I mean this is one of the coolest vipers on the planet. I mean take a look at that snake right there. These guys are obviously from China and they are incredible. Incredible, and they're actually only from a very small area in China too. So it's just a pleasure to see one of these guys. They're so beautiful. Check out the eyes on there. Ooh. Look at the green in the eye. Take a look at that sucker, dude. To me, this is the most. It's becoming fastly becoming my favorite snake. They're just so mesmerizing. It's it's so beautiful. It is so incredible. I mean, that's just amazing, dude. And these snakes weren't even discovered that long ago. I know, you know? right? Yep. And there's no there's no anti venine for these, and they're not even that aggressive. You can see this. We're just handling this snake, and she's actually pretty okay with it. That's main chain vipers, man. I tell you what. I remember when I was over in China, we got to play with a couple of them. Oh my gosh! If you look around here, and you've got like cobras, you've got you know <laughs> zebra spitters, you've got you know I, I mean it just goes on and on and on. Of course, we've got you know Gila monsters here. We've got oh my favorite in the world. We got a black mamba down here. I love black mambas. Just one of the most sketchy snakes on the planet. And then, of course, you have inland taipans over here. Uh, pound for pound, the most deadly snake, land snake on the planet. We'll check out the most. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Land snake. All right, man. We're going inland taipan for you guys right now, man. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's crazy about these guys is that during the winter months, they'll often turn almost black. And then during the summer months, they turn almost yellow. So it's it's really bizarre that snakes do that. But uh, again, this is like extreme caution with these guys because if you get tagged by this thing, it's going to be really bad. And and although inlands are a little bit more mellow than coastals, Ooh, you still I mean they're still lightning quick, man. So it takes a lot of skill to handle these guys. There it is. Look at that sucker right there. And you can see that really dark look to them. That's winter. winter that's coloration. winter. Yeah. They're yeah. one of the few snakes that are. Uh, color dimorphic like that for the seasons. Yep. And they'll darken up like you said. Now in the summertime, he's almost all yellow with a black head. And right now you can see his head, he's, it's lightened up but it's brown. But his whole body is like that and they do that so that they can get warm up. They yep. can attract heat. Yep. Can I give a go at it right now? Yeah, dude. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, you hold the camera. <laughs> Don't run. It's okay. Here, look. Check him out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why is that camera backing up? Man? <laughs> I freaking love Taipans. These are one of the coolest snakes on the planet. Holding an animal like this that is not only, I mean, it's obviously super, super, you know, I mean, you gotta still be very careful because these guys are lightning quick. And again, the venom in them is so toxic. You never want to get hit by something like this. One of the techniques is to kind of use your thumb to, to control its spine a little bit because if you're controlling its spine, it's not going to be able to come back up on you. And one of the other things is when you're handling something like this, I'm not looking at the camera guys, so don't worry about the fact that I'm not looking at John <laughs> and I on that snake, because I want to make sure I know what that thing is doing, but what a gorgeous animal. Woo! Look at that, guys. The most deadly land snake on the planet. Their venom is so toxic, because again, these are a species that spend 90% of their life underground. Right. Now, they're going through all the burrows, and when you are chasing prey, your venom has to work quick 
so that that mouse doesn't take off down a burrow and you right. can't find it. Right. So it kills their prey very fast. I right. think the other day when I fed, we counted, uh, we didn't even make the three one thousand once a bit of rat. Whoa! Can you imagine that? I mean, literally. That's literally one one thousand, two one thousand, three, and it was dead. Literally, just for this very moment, I would have came all the way to Florida. Oh my gosh, that thing is awesome. Uh, we got, I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. We got cotton mouse. We've got, I mean, dude, there is just so. Oh, what is Robbie taking out now? Oh, oh there's a Gila. There goes Robbie and his craziness. <laughs> Gila. Dude, Look at how cool so that thing cool. is, man. Look at how awesome that is, huh? Check that out. Look at their venom gland. See yep. that swollen spot? Don't yeah, bite don't, my don't, yeah, yeah. No, no bites. <laughs> no bites. <laughs> no bites. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, give me that finger. Oh my God. <laughs> <Let me> chew. <laughs> and trust me, God, you don't want to get bit by something like this. It's not going to kill you, but it's going to make you feel like you want to die for about 48 hours. I guess our really painful bites. I mean, I've never been bit by them, but you know, supposedly your blood pressure spikes and it drops and you pass out sometimes, you throw up sometimes, your arm swells up like three times the size. So, so uh, you know, Robbie's just, uh, you know, he's he's taking uh, precaution not to get bit by this guy, but uh, that's a beauty though, huh? They, 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 definitely one of my favorite lizards. The cool thing about them though, Brian, did you know that these were actually thought to be very rare? For right. Years and years yeah. and years. But what they discovered is they spend 90% of their life underground. Yeah. So you don't ever see them. Exactly. They come out during the monsoons yep. because they get washed up. Rats get washed up. Mice get yep. washed up. So they come up to eat. And then they'll go back underground yep. when it dries up. I just love being in this room, man. This room is like it's like the dream room for me, man. You just look around. You see all these really cool venomous snakes and obviously venomous lizards. I've made mention a ton of times that I typically don't plan hardly anything when I travel and I just kind of let things go. Well, this is only the second time this has ever happened to me. Literally every single hotel in the Orlando area was sold out. We just spent the last two hours going hotel to hotel to hotel with no luck. Finally, we ended up an hour away from Orlando in a not such great hotel. Regardless, it's yeah, it's livable, guys. We're gonna be okay, and uh, I am going to just uh, do my best to sleep on this extremely uncomfortable bed for the night. <laughs> Regardless, maybe every now and then I should plan a little better. Tomorrow's gonna be amazing. Today we just messed around a little bit. Tomorrow, a lot more stuff. We're going to Gatorland in the morning, and then back to Robbie's to play with a bunch of really cool animals. So this trip is just starting to heat up, and I know it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, your support means the world to me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell. Make sure to be kind to somebody. I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.